fasting. There are two main pillars of fasting. That means if you are missing one of these pillars, your siyam is not accepted. Number one is the niyyah, the intention. The second one is to abstain from the things that nullify your fasting. There are a number of things that nullify your fasting. Number one, food, drink, and anything or same effect as food or drink. Whether it's, for example, blood transfusions, or whether, for example, drips, or whether it's kidney dialysis. These are things that break your fast. If a person eats or drinks in Ramadan or outside of Ramadan out of forgetfulness, they continue their fast. Even if you've had a full meal and you forgot. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the hadith found in Bukhari and Muslim, he said, whoever forgets while fasting and eats and drinks should complete for verily Allah fed him and gave him drink. But if you see somebody, they are eating or drinking, do you remember the hadith and say, Allahu Akbar, how lucky is this person? And you sit there and, you know, and just wish you were in their position? The answer is no. You should actually tell them because they could be doing something haram. The second thing that breaks your fast is marital relations during the days during between Fajr and Maghrib. Conjugal relations, spouse. It's better to prevent yourself from approaching your spouse during a day, which means no kissing, no fondling, no hugging, just in case. The next, if a person deliberately vomits by either putting their finger down their throat or by smelling something deliberately to induce the vomiting, you have broken your fast. The fourth is menstruation and postnatal bleeding. It's obligatory for her not to fast and it is obligatory for her to make up those days she didn't fast it after Ramadan and before the next Ramadan. According to the majority of the ulama, masturbation, which is actually haram in Islam. If a person does this during the days of Ramadan, is what invalidates the fasting. And of course, if a person intends on breaking their fast, and say, look, that's it, I can't handle this anymore. They've released their intention. Even if they don't drink or eat, they've broken their fast because you have to always couple your fasting with the intention. Hijama or cupping or what is similar to it, bloodletting, this also invalidates your fasting. Brushing your teeth with toothpaste, this is makru. It's undesirable to do this because you can have remaining aspects of the, of the toothpaste coming down your throat. And besides, for those of you who have a bad breath, and we all have it, know that Allah Azza wa Jalla, He loves this smell. That the smell that is emanating from the mouth of a fasting person is more sweeter in fragrance than the smell of musk. Oh,